So let's get started. As you can see from the screen, our project is about a steel spider. Uh, you may have already known that there exist many kinds of robots in current market, but they have limits in, in many circumstances, such as space exploration or mine clearance. Um, it needs robots to have the ability of climbing. So we built this spider. But we didn't limit our imagination. Um, we want to our spider to function in daily, in daily life as well. So our, part, our spider has many features related to entertainment. So take a, let's take a look at it. You can see from the diagram that our project has about uh, five main functions. Besides the basic control, the left four are highly interactive, and I will talk about it later. So let's look into the core of the system. The layer of the system is a D0 nano SOC. And we use it as a way it is used to receive commands and, pre and produce precise PWM waves, which is so important to control a servo motor. And it consists both HPAs and FPGA. It connects them using upper memory mapped fabric. Um, well, We, we first customize our PWM IP core and compile it and we get the precise PWM waves. Um, all that work down using QSYS design system. The most tricky part uh, of the system is how to transform the, how to transfer the, the command. We use a ZigBee to tra transit data to a recipe pipe. And the recipe pipe passes the commands to HPS cores using socket, socket communication. Um, this is our target controller. It can perform some basic, basic movements. It can move forward, moving back, or turning left, turning right, spin down, or shaking body. But you can also use some advanced skill, advanced skills. Just log into our web page control. Just click on it, and the spider can playing piano or dancing with music. You can see. Uh, we will show you this video clip. I think the. I think the most important, uh, the most interesting thing is that we build an electronic organ using D1115 PGA board. Um, it has eight tons, uh, which is um, enough to produce a simple, um, a simple sound. And uh, would you please just replay it? Just click on the video. Just click on this video. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> well, let's forget about it. And next. Thank you. It's okay.
We just select a piece of, uh, of the sun with a star. Well, to make the spider more interactive, we installed a high quality microphone on it. Um, it will answer to you if you ask, if you ask it some uh, simple questions. The secret behind this is that we use iFryTag as voice engine. Um, we made some um, questions and answers in a file as grammar file, so the so it can re react to some particular sentences, like "Hello, spider," and it will answer "Hello, handsome." That's it. 小蜘蛛，你好。And we want to extend the ability of um, its vision. So, well, it can also play music, and I think um, we will show you later. We installed a camera with five million pixels on it. So naturally, an idea come to us naturally that why can't we make the spider recognize what it saw? So we install and we implemented a mathematics script into HPAs using mathematics powerful knowledge database to recognize the image. And the accuracy was very high. You can see the spider can recognize um, these pictures. Um, yeah, let's look at this. 小蜘蛛，这是什么 ？We put a solar can in front of it. It's an iPad. Yes, it says solar can. It's an it's an iPad displaying pictures. You can also um put a real object in front of it, but it needs some tricks. You may have already noticed that uh, in our web page control, um, control web page, uh, there is a um, video, video window. Oh, we, in, we, installed, we implemented an MJPJ streamer to it. Uh, so you can look at this world using, um, in spider's view, yes, the first person view rather than third person view. Uh, which is the case in real world. And I think it will give you a different uh, experience. So let's mm, just skip this. The spider is spinning and you can see what it saw. Well, the last feature is the spider can solve in a Rubik's Cube. We just map the color of the cube to HSV color space rather than RGB color space. And we use um, a, a mobile phone's camera with 60 million pixels um, rather than color sensors to compensate the distortion of surrounding light. And we use Cosimba algorithm to solve in the cube. Uh, and the voice synthesizer will tell the user how to solve the cube, giving voice instructions. <coughs> the spider just tell. So after about so after about twenty states, the cube will be solved. Well, you have already seen our, all the functions our spider has. Uh, and I have the confidence to foresee that there will be plenty of applications 
uh, about this spider in the field of industry, astronavigation, navigation, military, medical, or family entertainment. And I believe this spider is the best design we made so far. Thank you.